this is Flipping 101. You seem a little bit defeated. You're not planning on throwing in the towel. It is a contingency idea. Do you ever thinking about one of them like walking away from the prop projects? I will never, ever, ever walk away. I will fight to the end. If you walk away from this project, you are going to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars on this house. And you're going to be done, Ken. You guys up there? Hey. Hey, you two, I made it. <laughs> you guys want to take this on as your first flip? Dude, hey, yes. When what? opportunity falls, you, you gotta, gotta go it. home, right? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you know, there's different risk levels when it comes to house flipping. Yeah. Obviously, the less risky flip would be a three bedroom, two bath, 1200 square foot house. And the highest risk flip will always be a unique property. Hands down, we are at a unique property right now. You said four bedroom, two and a half bath, and you paid one and a quarter million. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you have budgeted for the actual project? Uh, about 150,000. And the exit is at around 1.8, you said? 1.85 is the pre 1.9. Wow. All right. All right. Okay, so you know what? This house is totally different than I expected. It's kind of like vibey, it has like an old school fireplace going on here. You know, when you're dealing with mid century or funkier style houses like this, it can eliminate a lot of buyers because the way it's laid out. Right. But at the same time, if you nail the design and you find that buyer that likes that style, you can hit a home run. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. So, okay, so I mean, the kitchen itself, it's not a huge space. What are you, what are you currently planning on doing here? Um, keeping the same footprint, pretty much, and obviously relocate this dishwasher. In the <laughs> what, what, what is this? It's so that you can pass the dishes over the counter, I guess. I don't know. I, I love this. What would be great over here would be, because you can do something really nice in this area, maybe a beverage center or something in here. Okay. Here on the left is a large bedroom. This isn't the master. Oh, this isn't the master. No. Oh, okay, that's the, okay. This is a really good secondary bedroom. Yeah. Right. This is a huge bathroom. Reconfiguring it, I think I still can get a tub and shower. So bedroom number two. You know, obviously this isn't gonna be a home office or a kids' room or something like that. Yeah. Bedroom three is so oh, that's right across the across. hallway. So it's pretty much yeah, it's pretty much a mirrored match. This one looks like it might be a little bigger. Okay. And then bedroom this is the number master. four. For a master, all these windows are beautiful. And then back here is our. Master bathroom. Oh, this wasn't expected <laughs> at all. What is this? It's a hidden uh, gem behind the house somewhere in the back. Okay. Oh, so, so the great thing about this space is it's big and the layout's just awful. So I think in here, we gut this entire space and figure out how we do a walk-in closet, how we do a double vanity, full-size shower, bathtub, toilet, and still possibly have a view window. And you paid a million two fifty for the house. Did you buy a cash or did you get a loan? A uh, hard money lender. So your monthly carrying cost is probably going to be about what, 10,000 10, a month? Yeah. So right there, you're looking at $60,000 in hard money cost. You're averaging rehab at 150,000, plus you're going to have about 80,000 in closing costs when you sell the house. So it's a break even, 1,540,000. It's on the right. It's right in there. And I know that you know 1.8 to 1,540 sounds like a big number. It's not. It I promise easy. you, that gap nope. can go from that to that Real quick. like that. Get rid of the drawers. To do that kitchen over there is probably gonna cost you 10, 12,000. How much is it gonna cost to move the kitchen, add the plumbing, add the power, add everything, and do the probably addition? Probably like 20. 20. There's, there's no way it's only $10,000 more. It's just aluminum and glass. I don't think it's 20,000. <laughs> so I would, I would look into that. Hey guys. Hey. What's going on, buddy? Today's our 90 day check in. And I don't know if you really? guys know this, but I've actually stopped by a few times. Okay. No. And no. Yeah. Every time I came by, nobody was here. You guys weren't here. The workers weren't here. So I was just kind of wondering what was going on. Um, <laughs> a couple months ago, we were supposed to start with uh, the original plumber came in. Price went for many quarters, skyrocketed. I found another plumber to come in. Different than the price was about five grand. And then how much of a delay did you get? Uh, that put me back about three weeks almost. What's the carrying cost on the house? Ten thousand uh, a month. Ten thousand a month, yeah. So you actually lost twenty five hundred by not hiring the expensive plumber, and that's one of the big problems. That's why I'm a I'm a big fan of hiring uh, contractors to help assist in projects like this because of the carrying cost. Do you have any idea how much how much more time we need? Um, I'm hoping another 
four, four to five weeks, maybe. Well, let's look around. Let's see where yeah. we're at with everything. Kitchen. Oh, nothing's done. We had issues with the measurements and the glass that is going to be the new encasing. We had a company out here um, five days later, call them up, hey, where's the quote? So bottom line is this. I mean, we have all these delays because people are taking advantage of you and, and it comes down to experience. Like, that's it. People waste your time, they don't commit, they don't follow through, and then you stand here in a million something dollar house with a $10,000 mortgage that looks like this. And, and honestly, it pisses me off. I need you to act like your entire life depends on this flip because in actuality, it could, and I've seen it happen. I just don't feel like I'm getting through to these two because whenever there's a problem, they don't respond with passion, they don't respond with fire, they just stand there and they get stoic and quiet. In this business, you have to be your own biggest advocate because that's the only way you're gonna survive. We're 14 weeks in and we finally got the plumbing done and we also got the subs to move forward with expanding the kitchen into the atrium. We got off to a slow start, but right now we're feeling really good. Kenny, where's the kitchen? It's been a nightmare. Got a problem over here in the bathroom now too. To transfer the kitchen, we need the drainage. Um, plumber came in. Um, apparently there's a piping in here that went all the way through from one side to the other, all the way to the, um, the back living room area. And that was supposed to carry the AC. So he cut it, so my AC guy came in, turned everything on. This is now a live unit. Oh my God, you're telling so me you have live unit blowing into the this dirt? This is live unit right now, so we can figure out how to reroute this. I'll tell you what, if it was me, I wouldn't pay for that, because that's a big deal. It's crazy. I mean, we're in month five. Yeah. You have spent $50,000. Just in mortgage Just payments. Just in mortgage payment, yeah. Mm -hmm. The house looks like a war zone. I never say this, but I'm gonna say it, you need to fire every single person working on this house. Kenny's project is such a disaster. There is nothing to do other than start over. Everything's unorganized. Nobody's doing what they say they're gonna do. Instead of spending all this time trying to get people to communicate, I think it's best to start over and get a new crew. What's up, Kenny? Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, man. You know, stressing out. So what do you got going? So I'm just warning you right now. This place looked totally different, so I'm just giving you a heads up before I turn the camera around. What in the world? Kenny, nothing is done, man. Nothing. I know what to do, man. Right now, I'm trying to figure out is this house even sellable? You seem a little bit defeated. You're not planning on throwing in the towel. It is a contingency uh, idea. Do you ever thinking about one of them, like, walking away from the prop projects? I will never, ever, ever walk away. I will fight to the end. If you walk away from this project, you are going to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars on this house. You're going to be done, Kenny. When we started this, it meant everything to our family, and it still does. We provide for our three children, so it still means everything for us to make this work. We're going to keep fighting. We're, we have too much invested in this project. We have no choice but to finish it. It's been about two months since I had that phone call with Kenny, and they're still working on the flip. They're currently 10 weeks behind schedule and a whopping $90,000 over budget. 